Hey again, let me talk in this video about input data. I don't think you want to deliver application to the customer and all the data is hard coded. You want to enable the customer to input the name, a GPA, and you print it for them. So to do that, I will just create a new file and I will name it, what I name it, I will name it inputs, okay? This way. And I would copy all the code I have in the data type, just control A, and I will move it to this file. I will remove all the part tool GPA. I just need only, and also I will remove that one. I need name, a name, age, GPA, only these. And I click run. I should see the very simple example that show me the name is Hussein, age, 30, GPA, whatever. I don't want these value to be hard code. I want to read the name from the secret. I want user input the information here and I will print it. So instead hard coded, I could read it. I just to read it, I just say read line. Okay, that's mean, hey, read this one line. But see, he asking you about the data tab. It's better to mention the data tab is sitting. Okay, so you will not, you will not have the issue. And this one should be, you should convert it to sitting. You say, this two signs, if you remember, that means the input should not be null. Then to say dot to sitting. That means, okay, read whatever user input and change it to sitting and put it in this variable. Okay, now you understand you should have a data type. Remember? Because I don't know what the hack this user will input. So I make sure add sitting, so I make sure convert it to the sitting. So now if I run, you will see the output will wait for me will wait me to enter something before it show me the result, before directly show me the output, if you remember. Now, no, just waiting me, see, it wait me to enter something. Let me, I may enter Jenna, Al-Rubai, whatever. I click enter, see, he print the name is Jenna al age 30, GPA, whatever. How that happen? I just click right again and debug and see how I was able to see Jenna and still his in, because because I already input Jenna here, I read it, and he was able to read it. But if you see, like to read that, I just say read line very easily, but make sure you convert it the equivalent data type, and you will see in seconds. So now I'm just here on this line, nothing here. I just run it. Now he expects some input from me. I say Jenna and Rubai. I click enter, go to the second line. If you see here, you see, create variable, name it his name, and have a Jenna in it. Now you create age, have a value, have GPA value. Now print them normally. Name, age, same thing. GPA. That's good. Now if I just do, I want to do the same thing for the age. So age should be again read line, and because it's null safety, I should add these two. Then I make sure convert age integer. I say two integer. Is that right? Make sure I convert it to integer. And this one you need to see. So say you could mention integer, or else will be enough for him to understand. It will convert this one to integer. So you could mention it here. We could not because he now you add. He will just directly add it. GPA just directory. Say read line dot read sh should be double. Is that right? Or two double? Two double because I need to convert this one to double because GPA is double so see you could mention it or you don't have to in this case because direct assign it but what if you just want to define the variable here you want to give it a string and you just want to assign value for it in this case you can't because should be VAR variable editable okay just keep it now simple this way you just define variable, you give it value, which is this value. You just read whatever from the input. Now the issue is if I just run the code, I don't know where is, I don't know how to track my, I don't know how to track my inputs from the screen. It would be nice, see, I don't know what I should input, but I know based on the my code, I know this line is run first, so I should enter names, Jenna. Then I know the second input will be the age. I will say, 11 and the third input GPA 2.3 and it will be able to print it. How that happened? I just debug it and see like how that happened. 
but it would be nice to user could track I mean could see nice messages for the user you know what he should input not just like just like things like th throw out in front of him so yeah okay I'm in this line that's good I just go ahead he asked me for input I say Jenna enter now yeah he went to the age line I just run it he asked me for the age I say three now he went to the GPA line I just run it I told him like four whatever GPA 2.2 .2. and he go to the next line so it will show me some output so it will be nicer before every line I print some nice message so I would now so it's better to say print enter name okay to be nice something like this something this one I say print enter age I say here print enter GPA okay now if I just run my code completely I would understand like just show me the message and through the message I could follow up with the code understand like what you see previously just screen and you don't know what the next so enter name okay my name is Jenna enter age I say three years enter GPA 3.4 enter he told me okay your name is Jenna age this one and this one I say it's better to say your name is Jenna your age your age is equal to this your GPA equal to this let me make it a funny more fun seconds I just click right and run it to see like well this one is, should not be an A it should be a data birth is that right okay so we'll make it fun seconds my name is Jenna my age is three years my GPA 3.8 okay he told me okay your age is your name is Jenna your age is three your GPA is 3.8 that's good yeah that is that's all what I want to share with you in this video I hope it was clear for you to understand how to do it and thank you for watching and see you next